Hey, what's up guys? Curtis B here. So I was scrolling through YouTube on my phone and I saw this video pop up. It is from the Jimmy Kimmel show and he uploads clips from his shows all the time. Sometimes I watch them. Sometimes there's good stuff on there. This one in particular, man, um, <laughs> this one is called, what do you know about the female body? E I guess they stopped guys on the streets to ask them questions about the female body. I, I don't know, honestly, but I decided I'm going to make a reaction video to this because it might be kind of funny. I'm actually I'm kind of scared to watch this. I don't I don't know what these guys are going to say. I don't know what kind of questions they're going to ask. I don't know what kind of answers I'm going to hear, but that's what we're here to find out. OK, let's do this. Do most women have one uterus or two? Two. How many fallopian tubes do women have? One. Do most women have- <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I gotta go back to this. They're starting off crazy already. It was, it was fast for me. Do most women have one uterus or two? One. Two. How many fallopian tubes do women have? One. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. He's, he answered this question with one. They're literally called fallopian tubes. Tubes, right? I mean, I guess you could say fallopian tubes as in plural for many women or more than one woman, but they're called fallopian tubes. And he said they have one. God. Do most women have one uterus or two? Two. Uh, How many? I'm I'm pretty sure these guys are thinking of ovaries. That's where it's it's tricking them. I guess they don't know what a uterus is. How many fallopian tubes do women have? One. Uh, How many what? fallopian tubes does the average lady have? This guy's got to know. Uh, oh, my God. How many fallopian tubes do women have? Fallopian tubes? I'll say, uh... I'll say, that's how you know it's going to be wrong already. I'll say, uh, he's just starting off with a guess. He is not confident at all. How many fallopian tubes do women have? Fallopian tubes? I'll say, uh... I'll say, uh, seven. And I know I'm going to be way off. I'm just going to say four. Oh, my God. I was pretty close with seven. He said four. I was only three off. How many ovaries does a woman have? Um... Jeez. Two? Uh... <laughs> Ovaries, uh, one. Uh, how many? <laughs> Over, again, with the plural, ovaries. And then they say one. I don't get it. Ovaries does a woman have? Six. Uh, what? What part of the body does a mammogram examine? Breasts? Ooh, the lower half. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to point, like, what? Fuck, about uh, that. What does PMS stand for? Hold on. PMS. PMS. I know this one. Premenstrual syndrome. Post-mental uh, syndrome. Wait, syndrome, right? And how often does that happen? Usually uh, once a month? Like once a year, at least. Uh, <laughs> well, he technically is not wrong. He said once a year at least, right? Does that happen? Um, like once a year, at least. Ah, keywords, at least. This guy's a genius. He knew he was safe with that answer. Where's the cervix? There. Uh, and the vagina. Oh man, okay. You're asking me trick questions. Bottom, dude, it down at the bottom. Or up through here, but it's either here or here. Uh, and the cervix? Is it on there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then it must be this part. Uh, uh, nice. stuff that you know. I believe that's the ovary. Uh, One of two. That's like a baby. Uh, I'm gonna let uh, uh, Whoa, hold on. <laughs> That part's the baby? I don't think so, dude. I'm let belly fat. She's thick. What about the urethra? Urethra? That's that. Where's the anus? Oh, I think that's it. That, that looks like an anus. I don't know. Anything you know That dude on is here, way just... off. The stomach? Do you know what? what it is? Is it a... Oh, that is an IUD. Is this a mammogram device? <laughs> <laughs> Half smear? Uh, How about this guy? Um, oh, I know what that's for. Do you know what this instrument is? No, like not even. A I don't know what it's called, but I do know what it's for. In German, no. What do you think it should be called in German? Like a uh, something opener. How do you say uh, <laughs> vagina opener in German? Uh, we would call it a Scheidenöffner. <laughs> Scheidenöffner, yeah. Where's the cervix? Right there. Uh, I'm so mortified. <laughs> Where does the baby go? In there. Uh, oh, wow. 
Hey, ma'am, what do you do so for So disappointing. Life? I'm a gynecologist. I'm apparently not a very good educator at home for my husband. Do you know what? This dude is going to get such uh, a tongue lashing when he gets home. She is going to, she's going to yell at him just to keep it simple. He's in trouble. I'm apparently not a very good educator at home for my husband. <laughs> do you know what OBGYN stands for? Obstetrician. A bunch of words I can't say. <laughs> Gynecologist. <laughs> it's just my profession. Oh, Thank man. <laughs> and real quick, will you just point to the <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good ending right there. All right, that was that was pretty funny. Those dudes were, oh my God, so disappointing. Men, if you're out there watching this right now and you had trouble with some of those questions, do some research. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know everything. I'm not perfect. There's always something out there that I can learn, but I'm dedicating myself right now to learning more and you should too. So if you ever running around on the streets and somebody pulls you aside with a big old poster board asking you to point out body parts you won't look like an idiot. Well, that was a fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please smash the like button. I would appreciate it. And also subscribe if you're new here. Stick around. I'm going to be posting more videos. Have a good one, guys. See you next time. Peace out.